Hello and welcome. This is your repair and maintenance technician here at Sable Test Systems. Today we're going to show you how to replace your CT30 blade, as well as show you how to correctly position the blade height for getting those optimal cleaves. To do this, you'll need the 1.5mm hex wrench that is normally supplied in your CT30 cleaver case, or you can use your own 1.5mm hex screwdriver. Let's start this process by removing the blade cover, always being careful not to touch the exposed blade. In this case, the blade has been fully rotated to the 16th position, indicated by the position marker, or dot, as well as having been raised three times, which will show you how to reset once we've gone and changed the blade. You'll need to ensure the new blade is properly aligned by making use of that marker, which will serve as a guide. The next thing we want to do is remove the FDB-03 fiber trash bin, as well as the FCO2 fiber collector. Start by removing both screws here and here. Unscrew them both until the threads have left the base, but leave them in your scrap collector. This will aid you in reinstalling the scrap collector during reassembly. Now we want to access the blade lock screw which holds the blade in the desired position on the lever and locks the blade in place. Unscrew three quarters to one full turn to loosen the blade. Next, rotate to the back of the cleaver and remove the lever stopper by unscrewing the two screws here. Now we can easily access and loosen the cap screw, which is held in place by the holder fixture, allowing us to lift and release the blade holder. You can loosen the screw here until the blade holder comes free. And finally, lift up the blade holder using your index finger while pushing the blade base until it locks into position as shown. Remove and discard the old blade by carefully pinching it from the top of the blade base and sliding it to the left. Replace with a new blade, making certain to align it to position 1 against the blade marker located on the blade base. Lower the blade until it rests on the top base of your cleaver. Press on the slide hook to release the blade from its locked position. Fasten the holder fixture by tightening the cap screw. To adjust the height of your blade, loosen the height adjuster screw located here by making one quarter to one half turn. Next, unscrew the height adjuster screw counterclockwise to put it back into its initial marker position here. Gently tap the cleaver base on a flat surface. Ensure your blade is realigned to the marker position. Tighten the blade lock screw as well as the height adjustment lock screw. If the blade base no longer slides fluidly to the lock position, it is likely one of the three screws that is rubbing the interior of the cleaver base. Reinspect and adjust accordingly. Verify the cleave quality by loading two cleaved fibers in your splicer. If you're satisfied with the quality of your cleaves, reinstall the blade cover and lever stopper, the fiber collector, and the trash bin. Once again, this has been your maintenance and repair technician at Saint-Bol Test Systems, wishing you a safe and happy workday.